In 1920, Arthur Lismer traveled with fellow group of seven members, Lauren Harris and A.Y. Jackson, from Toronto to paint around Mongoose Lake in Algoma. They were accompanied by group friend and patron, Dr. James McCallum, who then invited Lismer and Fred Varley to spend time at his cottage on Go Home Bay in Georgian Bay. Canadian art historian Charles Hill notes that it was during this subsequent visit that Arthur Lismer painted the sketch for a westerly Yale Georgian Bay. The sketch and resulting canvas, now part of the collection of the National Gallery of Canada in Ottawa. Charles Hill feels that it is likely that Lismer then painted the canvas September Gale during the winter of 1920 and 1921. The composition of a storm-blown pine on a high foreground with an open water and rocky islands, his tribute to Tom Thompson's West Wind. This painting was preceded by two oil sketches and a small canvas. Barry Lord identified the 1920 oil sketch, now in the collection of the Vancouver Art Gallery, as the first sketch of the subject. Through the National Gallery sketch and canvas, Lismer's composition continued to evolve, with the primary tree shifting, land areas adjusted, and the sky varying with each approach to the subject. Comparing to the earlier compositions of the subject, Charles Hill describes this oil sketch as September Gale, Georgian Bay, noting that the tree is rooted in the rocks, surrounded by broadly sketched foliage, compressed between the upper and lower edges of the panel and the rocks lower left, energizing the landscape. The foreground root has been eliminated, the light is more luminous, and the channel between the islands enlarged. The lessons learned in this superb sketch will be incorporated in the final canvas of 1921, in which the tree retains the simplified design. Writing about this painting, Arthur Lismer himself said September Gill is essentially a picture of movement. Everything in it is alive with related action or rhythm. It is like a nature symphony with clashing chords and deep undertones of menace. Orchestration with many instruments striving to achieve a powerful expression. Arthur Lismer's The September Gale, Georgian Bay will be available at auction for the first time with Cowley Abbott on June 8th as part of the auction of artwork from an important private collection.